welcome back to CodeGrid guys. I hope you enjoyed the last video where we replicated the cool menu reveal of the virtual world site showcased on awards. But guess what? We're not done yet. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this image hover effect in just minutes using vanilla JavaScript. So, without wasting much time, let's dive right into it. Alright folks, before we dive into the code, let me tell you I did a little investigation. I took a peek at the official site to get an idea of how they implemented that awesome hover effect. And here's what it looks like they did, or something similar. First things first, you'll need an image container. Pop an image inside that bad boy, and then slap an overlay on top of it. Then, we're going to render a bunch of square blocks on top of that overlay, and set their opacity to a solid zero. Now, here's the secret sauce. We'll add and remove a special class that lets us change the opacity based on mouse move with JavaScript. Enough with the chit chat. Let's stop imagining and get our hands dirty with some real code. Alright, let's begin by incorporating a container. As we mentioned earlier, our first step is to create an image container. Once that's done, we can proceed to add an image in an overlay, which will provide that desired orange or whatever hue. Next, we'll add numerous blocks inside a wrapper named image blocks. Lots of them. And some more. That covers the setup. Now, let's delve into the CSS portion. Let's enhance our HTML elements by removing margins and paddings while setting the box sizing to border box for precise layouts. For the container, we'll maximize its width and height to fill the entire viewport. To achieve perfect centering of the image container, we'll employ the magic of Flexbox, aligning it both horizontally and vertically. For the image container, we set its width and height to 500 pixels. By using position relative, we gain control over its positioning. To ensure everything stays within bounds, we add overflow hidden. By setting width 100% and height 100% for the image wrapper, we ensure the image occupies the entire space of its container. We also ensure the image fits perfectly by setting width 100% and height to auto, preserving its aspect ratio. The object fit cover rule guarantees the image covers the entire available space without distortion. With position absolute, the overlay spans the entire width and height. We use Mix Blend Mode Screen, which blends the overlay and the image together. The overlay's color is set to a striking orangish hue with background color. With Display Flex, the blocks are arranged in a flexible row wrap layout. Align Content and Justify Content provide spacing between and around the blocks. Meanwhile, the block defines the individual blocks. Each block has a fixed width and height of 50 pixels. The opacity property is initially set to zero. The Mix Blend Mode Hard Light rule enhances the visual impact and a background color of light yellow and transition opacity 0.3 seconds ease and adds a smooth fade in effect the active class adds a semi-transparent effect to the block with opacity by toggling this class dynamically we will create a captivating tail like visual effect by using set timeout we begin by selecting all elements with the class block using document query selector all we also set a variable reset duration to 300 milliseconds, determining the duration for which the active class remains applied to a block. We traverse through each block using for each that allows us to apply event listeners and actions to individual blocks. Then, we add an event listener so that when the mouse hovers over a block, we spring into action. First, we clear any existing timeout by calling clear timeout. This ensures that any previous animations are reset, avoiding conflicts. Next, we add the active class to the block. This triggers the semi-transparent effect defined by the active class we added earlier. We then set a timeout using set timeout. This schedules a function to execute after the specified reset duration. In this case, the function removes the active class from the block, reverting it to its original state. And that's it. By combining these steps, we create an engaging interaction where the blocks respond to mouse over events by briefly revealing the captivating tail effect. The script adds a touch of liveliness and playfulness to your web page, ensuring a delightful user experience. 